We all have hot pepper stories. And it's fun to think about how the painful experience from eating those combines with the other aspects of, of enjoying food and how they work together to give you an overall uh, enjoyable experience. My name is Michael Katerina, and I am a sensory neurobiologist. My laboratory studies the mechanisms by which we sense pain. And back in the 1990s, we were very interested in understanding how it is that capsaicin and chili peppers can cause a sensation of pain. And so we set out to identify the protein target for capsaicin, what's called the receptor. In some ways, the capsaicin receptor can be thought of as a molecular thermometer. Once the temperature reaches higher than, say, 108 degrees Fahrenheit, this protein gets activated, and it produces the same kind of response that we would get if we would bite into a chili pepper. So what happens when we bite into a chili pepper that contains a lot of capsaicin? Well, the first thing that happens is we chew up that pepper, and the capsaicin molecules penetrate right across the surface of the tongue to the nerve endings and bind to this protein that we call the capsaicin receptor, creating a little electrical response inside the nerve cell. It gets transmitted from the tip of your tongue all the way to the other end of that nerve cell in your brain. Those nerves then project to different parts of your brain that help you experience this very complex sensation which we know as pain. So if you've bitten off more than you can chew, there are a number of things that you can do. Temperature and capsaicin can work together to increase the perception of pain. So you can drink a cold beverage which will drop the temperature of your mouth. But as soon as the cold goes away, you feel the pain again. What you really need to do is remove that capsaicin from the tissues. And one way to do that is to drink or eat something fatty, like milk, for example, which can absorb the capsaicin molecules and help draw them out of your tongue. Another really interesting thing about capsaicin, only mammals experience pain. Birds are able to sense heat, but they're not able to feel pain in response to capsaicin. And that's because their version of the capsaicin receptor is heat activated, but it doesn't have a binding site for capsaicin. Some scientists have speculated that they're producing this capsaicin to discourage mammals from eating their fruit and instead encouraging birds, which will distribute the seeds over a much larger distance than the mammals. One thing that I very often hear from people is people who will say, you know, I have a brother who can eat all the chili peppers that he wants. He's completely insensitive to chili peppers. Maybe you ought to bring him into the lab and study him. We don't do that, but what uh, I think uh, we would probably find is that those individuals are less sensitive, probably because they eat a lot of spicy foods. But if you were to inject a little bit of capsaicin under the skin, they'd probably hit the roof because those nerve endings haven't been desensitized.